Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Summerlin 2920BH. This is an awesome bunk model with a ton of outside storage. Let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way around, then head on in. Power tongue jack to start the coach off. This is great, makes it nice and easy to raise and lower the tongue rather than having to do it yourself and wear out your arm. Behind that's your propane tank cover. Very easy to access the tanks. You see you have two thumb screws here, just undo those. That will give you, or that will allow the door to lift up here and give you access to your two 20 pound tanks. Right behind that are rails for your battery box there. And coming up the front is black diamond plating to help protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up from your tow vehicle. As so we come around to the side here, you can see the front pass through storage. Great uh, space in there, you'll see you have a light as well, so if you do have to access anything at night, you can go ahead and do that. Power stabilizing jacks on both the front and back of this coach, again, making uh, setting up and tearing down camp just that much easier for you. Power awning on here as well, so that way you just touch a button that rolls out, same thing to roll back in, and underneath the power awning is an LED light strip, so if you do want light at night, you can go ahead and turn that on and you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Getting into the coach is very easy. You see you have three steps right here to climb right in. Uh, this unit is, uh, does have the Arctic package on it, so it does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So if you are camping into the later seasons, camping into fall when it's getting a little bit colder at night, you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you as long as the furnace is running. Electrical outlet right here, so you can go ahead and plug anything in. And notice that is right underneath the awning, which is great. Two outside speakers there as well. So if you do want to, um, you know, hook the, or if you want to listen to some music while you're out here, you can go ahead and do that. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. Making our way back a little bit further here. Outside shower, both hot and cold access there. I like the fact it's on the camp side. Most of the time, this is on your off door side or in the back of the camper. But I like having it right here because it is nice and convenient, especially if. Now, you know, the kids have uh, sandy feet coming in from the beach. You can go ahead and spray them off real quick, wash the dog, whatever you need to do, and then you can head right into the camper. Then as we come to the very back, take a look at this. Now that you have the front pass-through, you also have a rear pass-through, and this is huge storage here. You can see how wide the door is, nice large door on both sides, so you can easily fit larger items in here. Uh, far too often the travel trailers today only have the front pass-through storage, so I love the fact they're able to bring the uh, rear pass-through storage back as well. Right back here, um, attached to the bumper, you can see you have a mount for a grill, so if you have a grill you want to slap on there, you can easily do that. Right over here is your spare tire. Um, this is great, you know, nice and easy to get to, riding right back here, of course, hopefully you never have to use it. Now you see this big door right here, it is very easy to get into. Just pull a couple pins here, whoops. There you go, just pull the pin, then your tire will drop down like so. That gives you access to, again, another very large storage area right over here. So this is awesome. You do have a light in here too, if you, uh, you know, great place to put zero gravity chairs. You can put pool noodles in here. You can see over to the side, you have an electrical outlet. So if you wanna put tools back here, you can have a toolbox. You can go ahead and plug in, let your batteries charge right there. Uh, but just an excellent extra storage space here on the outside. But okay, I know it's great on the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen. Uh, you can see you have some usable countertop space here, both on the sides of the sink as well as space behind. Very large single bowl sink in here as well. It's nice and deep, makes it very usable. And if you have large pots and pans, you can uh, go ahead and set them down flat in here. Also, high-rise pull-out faucet makes washing dishes very easy. Let's go ahead and take a look right up front here. Uh, underneath the countertop, you'll see you have some good storage. Two full extension drawers right here, as well as some extra storage there. You have a couple controls up above there, your slide, your awning, as well as the lights up top. Uh, right here's a window, so as you're doing dishes, you can take a look out at your campsite there. Electrical outlets on either side of it, so if you need to plug in a coffee maker or toaster, you can go ahead and do that. Whoop, three burner Atwood cooktop there, the front one is high output, and you have an oven underneath if you wanna do a little bit of baking. You can see you have a cutout here and then storage underneath that and there is enough room there for a trash can. 
another cutout right here, and then you also have another full extension drawer there. So we move up top, you see the uh, fully functional hood here with the light and fan, microwave there, and additional pantry storage over here. Dometic fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. So if you are running it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it will automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on propane gas. If you take a look at the ceiling, you will notice a couple things. One, it is ducted AC on there. Also, you can see the speakers are in here. It's controlled by the multimedia center. I'll show you in a little bit. And this unit has a King Jack antenna, which is nice. That's for your TV. Uh, this replaces the old style where you have to crank it up and down. Uh, with this one, all you have to do is turn it to find the best signal. Big advantage of that is you don't have to remember to drop the antenna back down when you're done camping because uh, it doesn't move up and down, so it won't break off on you. Right over here is the bathroom. Take a look right down there. There's your foot flush lever toilet there. Uh, you can see your sink top and vanity. Good amount of countertop space there as well as a cubby hole underneath. A little bit of storage under the sink too. The electrical outlet over to the side. Up top is your mirrored medicine cabinet there. And over to this side, here's your tub shower. I like the fact it's a tub when you have a bunkhouse, in case you have smaller kids. You can see some shelves there, hand wand, and then your uh, skylight right up top. So we'll go ahead and close this, and then in the back here is our bunk room. We can take a look here. So you have two large bunks, uh, 300 pound weight limit on there, which is nice. The other cool thing about the, the bunks is right here, uh, you know, whether you want this to be the foot or the headboard, but both the top and bottom bunks have a, a little foot locker like this, which is really cool. Uh, so you have some extra storage built right into the beds. I like that they went ahead and did that. Uh, and you still have about six foot of space here as well. So even if the kids are uh, taller, they can go ahead and still comfortably sleep here. Electrical outlet up top in case you need to plug anything in there. TV hookups right over here. You can see your TV hookup there. They did put a sticker on here so you know where the mounting bracket location is for the TV in the back. Couple windows there, skylight up top. And then right over here, you will see you actually have some wardrobe hanging space, which is awesome. Uh, so that way, you know, if you need to hang the kids clothes up, you can easily do so. Then as we come back out over to the side, this is our super slide. You can see the dinette right here. Um, this table does drop down into a bed. All you have to do is remove the two legs out of the flanges in the floor and in the table here as well. The table then sits along these rails. Take the uh, cushions, put it on top of the table here, and then that will uh, essentially create that extra sleeping space. Also right down over to the side, you'll see an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, if you have cell phones you want to plug in, you will see right here are two USB ports as well. And then over to this side here is our uh, jackknife sofa. So the cool thing about a jackknife is you can see all the storage you get underneath. So great spot for bedding, very easy to access there. Uh, the other thing I like about this jackknife sofa is you actually have an armrest that folds down right here, which is kind of cool. And you have some cup holders built in right there. Now um, storage up top, I forgot to mention that. So you can see the storage right there. And then as we make our way over here, we get into our entertainment area. So uh, your TV hookups right here, multimedia center right here underneath. You can see you have good storage there as well for DVDs. Uh, multimedia center is Bluetooth capable, but, uh, capable by the way, if I didn't mention that. Right up top here, you can see some additional storage there. Same thing over here. And then this is something I really like they did. You can see they have a designated spot for your coats right here, and they even have a built-in shoe rack. I think that is awesome. Um, you know, far too often when you come in the campers, you have to have, kind of have makeshift areas to where you put your shoes. And this is definitely a dedicated spot right there. You know, even if you want to sit down here, you can take, you know, go ahead and put your shoes on. It gives you a nice little seat there as well. Um, so I think it's really cool that they did that. Let's come on up into the bedroom here. Uh, we'll take a look. You can see you have your queen bed right here. This does have storage underneath. So if you need to store some items underneath the bed, you can do that. Over to the side, you will notice how you have uh, kind of like a, a nightstand on both sides. You have a big space there and you have electrical outlets. So the nice thing about that is if um, you need to charge a cell phone or if you have a CPAP machine, you do have enough space to put that on either side of the bed. And of course you can plug it in there as well. You can see your wardrobe hanging space here. Uh, you have that on both sides too for any clothes you want to hang up. Shelf across the top there. 
Also for dirty clothes, you'll see you do have a clothes hamper right here. Go ahead and put a basket or something underneath there so you just toss your clothes right down in there, which is uh, again, very convenient. This is a really cool travel trailer in the fact it has a ton of storage. You saw the two pass-throughs of both the front and back outside as well as the storage in the back. Uh, when you come in, the kids get their own space, the TV in the back, you have the foot lockers there, which are pretty nice, and you have hanging space in the bunk room, which you don't see very often. Uh, if you are interested in this unit and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.